Yo, what's going on guys? It is Cynical, and my dudes, welcome back. We are continuing the adventure on... What's today? What's today? Today is, uh, it's good old Wednesday. <laughs> on this amazing Wednesday. Um, guys, today we're going to be dipping our toes into Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories on the PlayStation 4 Ultimate Deluxe 60 frames per second. Oh, it's juicy just saying that, dude. It's, it's smooth as fuck just saying that. Uh, 60 FPS sort of addition, but yeah, we're going to be going through Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories, guys. So, um, you guys probably heard about uh, the stuff that happened yesterday, and I go through it with you guys on stream, uh, sort of shortly explain why we're not doing 358 over two days. Uh, we were meant to do days, but something ended up happening. We're going to get into that in just a sec. I did a bit of an explanation over on Twitter, but I'm going to let you guys know, uh, just for the people who uh, obviously didn't catch the Twitter video yesterday. Also, um, the alert thing is here. Thank you so much to that person. Um, give me just one sec to uh, order this. I had to kind of rearrange... Um, I had to rearrange a little bit of my stream because... I don't know why, I was hoping to kind of start today's stream off uh, a little bit earlier because I actually got up extremely early today compared to when I usually get up. Kayla actually had a job interview because she's thinking about moving jobs just to get some more hours and whatnot, so I had to get up earlier. But um, for like the past 35 minutes, I've been dealing with technical issues. Goddamn technical tissues, dude. I, I hate those technical tissues. But guys, welcome back. Uh, this is it, we're gonna be playing with cards, and we're about to lose our mind in the Castle of Amnesia. So, uh, this is Kingdom Hearts Free Chain of Memories, as you guys can see. We're gonna be starting a new game on Sora, and then of course doing Rebirth slash Rebirth mode, once we have completed Sora's story. So, let's jump into a new game, we're gonna start off the game with Sora, obviously. And yes, Reno, uh, you guys, you guys like me playing on the harder difficulties, you guys like the wrecks, you guys like the deaths. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna be jumping into Proud Mode, uh, for Kingdom Hearts Free Chain of Memories. Should be a good time. Um, I've come to actually appreciate Chain of Memories a lot more through actually playing it, uh, again this year within 1.5 and 2.5 on PS4. Um, I'm ki I kinda dig it. I kinda dig it. And when it comes down to it, I definitely position Re Chain of Memories over 358 over two days in terms of the gameplay. In terms of the gameplay. The story in Re Chain is still very good, though. Uh, mind you, it's still very good. Now, we are going to be skipping this uh, whole HD intro cinematic um, just to avoid any sort of copyright issues with the Muzak. Uh, we usually do this anyway, you guys know how it is. Thank you dudes uh, for giving me support so far uh, with the donations. Shout out to both Backstory Band G Dude as well as Sai. I'm going to get to those donations in just a sec, guys. Let's quickly get our asses thrown into Castle Oblivion. But I gotta hand it to them, I am absolutely so thrilled that Square Enix decided to make a uh, sort of re-version of this, a, a remake version, a remade version, I guess you could say. Um, because obviously Chain of Memories and the story that it presents, it is literally the bridge between Kingdom Hearts right. 1 to 2. So it's a very important title, and uh, I think it's fantastic that Square Enix were like, okay, we can't just have this on the GBA, we gotta put it on the PS2. And of course we get Mali. Guys, we get to indulge in Mali. It's real. What's going on, Hoxie? Thank you so much for subbing to the channel, my dude. Welcome to the Cynics. Or should I, should I, should I say Cynics? Uh, should I say Chinics? Enjoy your stay, man. But yes, I know a lot of people despise this game. I know a lot of people despise this game, and I used to be in the same boat, but... Once you kind of, I guess, like, it depends what you kind of like. Um, I was always against the card system, though. Um, trust me, I was always against the card system. But, like I said, through playing it again, 60 frames per second with that PS4 controller, and actually, you know, because this, I mean, playing it through this year probably would have been my, like, third or fourth time playing Rechain. So I don't exactly have too much experience with the game itself. Hence the reason I, I was always like, okay, no, I don't, I don't like this game, but... The more I kind of play it, the more I sort of become more familiar with the card system, and the more I sort of enjoy it. So, um, yeah, I kind of, I kind of dig it. I kind of dig it. <laughs> I've never seen Free Chain, so yeah, my first time seeing it. Well, Anime Girl, you are in for a treat. 
yearn for a treat. The gameplay is definitely different. Very different. It's still very Kingdom Hearts, but there's a lot more strategy when it comes down to it. You have to play card values, you have to add cards to make higher values, use your zeros to break values. Uh, there's a little bit more strategy when it comes to the combat, and I'm not a strategy guy, trust me. I, I do not I do not fuck with strategy-based games. <laughs> I'm all about that hack and slash, boy. I'm all about that hack and slash. But anyway, uh, what's going on to the subscribers here in the chat? Shout out to you, Trix. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Uh, Blake, how's it going, my dude? What's going on, Sai? Uh, what's going on, Gogeta? Yo, man, how's it going, dude? Long, long time no talk, man. How's it been? Good to see you in here, man. You think it's okay to bark? Uh, Chronicle Chrome, what's to, going on, dude? Let's go and go, Chaos. How's it going, man? Really? Cause now that you mention it, I was kinda thinking the same thing. Seriously? Me too. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, alright. So the uh the really weird thing about Kingdom Hearts 3 Chain of Memories is of course Sora, even though he's like Kingdom Hearts 1 young 14-year-old Sora, he's got that Kingdom Hearts 2 15-year-old Sora voice. And this is because of the fact that obviously all of the vo there was no voice um, acting in the original Chain of Memories, like on GBA. So all of this voice acting, I think, happened around the time of Kingdom Hearts 2, because ReChain of Memories actually released uh, after Kingdom Hearts 2. It actually came bundled with Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Uh, so yeah, that's why we're getting this older Haley Joel Osment sort of voice acting going on. It's so weird though, seeing Kingdom Hearts 1 Sora with with the deep voice with the deep voice but we can pretty much assume that uh our boys how do i word this our boys mm you know he he went he hit puberty <laughs> I'm, I'm not even gonna go down that road basically sora hit puberty throughout chain of memories we can just assume that we can just Castle, assume that <laughs> i just knew our very best friends they're here. Finally able to make it to a screen. Awesome to see you, man. Like, honestly, Roman, so, so good, dude. So good. Hopefully everything's been going absolutely fantastic down your end, man. Yep, I had it too. Mm-hmm. I had the exact same feeling. Our boys' boys dropped. That's a good way of saying it. Actually, that, that's a perfect way of saying it. Our boys' boys dropped. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That way, to the door. <laughs> Are you scared? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Come on, let's go. All yeah, right. Dummy, are you, are you scared, hey, man? Shouldn't we shut the door behind us? What's going on, Sario? Thanks so much for the 14 month resub, Sorry. my dude. Uh, yo, my boy, 14 months and also try nicknaming your decks after stream people. <laughs> That's it. Who are you? <laughs> also have a Sario original GIF. What's going good, man? <laughs> Oh, I like that. That's cool. That's cool. The darkness. Thank you so much, Sario. Appreciate it, man. I mean, even if you cast Cure, it's not going to work. But, like, what's different? <laughs> like, what is different? I should think it's obvious. The moment you set foot in this castle, you forgot every spell and every ability you ever You think it's obvious? Molly, come on. There's no sign that says as soon as you step foot in this place, you're going to forget everything. How? It's not obvious. That is the way in Castle Oblivion. Castle Oblivion? Molly Lucia. Molly Lucia, man. Oh my god. I'm, I'm sorry. He's, he's just, he's too much. He's, he's too fucking much. Known in the past. And you will meet people you miss. I miss? Riku! You mean Riku's here? If what you want is to find him.
What'd you do? I merely sampled your memories, and from them, I made this. Um. To reunite with those you hold dear. God damn, dude, that voice, it's... It's perfect. It's perfect. It is a promise for the reunion you seek. Hold the card to open the door, and beyond it a new world. So you guys probably caught the video about uh, how I was talking about um, Nomura confirming the fact that Luarium is in fact not Malusha, and um, one of the points I made in that video is I'm, I'm kind of happy, I'm, I'm sort of happy that's not the case, because that means in Kingdom Hearts 3 we'll most likely end up getting some of that Mali backstory, Come but on. within Kingdom Hearts 3, Let's not go. displayed yeah. in Union Cross, because one of the things that I was kind of disappointed about upon first seeing Luarium is, you know, it's like, okay, this is obviously my Lucius somebody, this is where we're getting his origin, but uh, I, I'm fucking thrilled to know um, that Luarium isn't Malusha. There's obviously some connection between the two, um, but from what Tetsu Nomura is saying, apparently he's not, so hoping that we get that Mali backstory um, coming up soon within KH3. That would be amazing. That would... Mm, 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 that that would just be juicy, my dude, juicy. Gogeta, my man, the big boy himself. Thank you so much for 32 months, my dude. Holy cow, almost three years. True veteran right here, man. True veteran. Also, as well as Chaos. But uh, shout out to you, Gogeta. Thank you so much, man, for all of the support you've shown me over these years, dude. Appreciate you, buddy. Appreciate you. Uh, what's going on, Sai? Thanks so much for the one bangerino. Hey, Chinix, good top 10. Agree with your Kingdom Hearts 1 slash 0.2 choices. I am stunned that you didn't have the Sorcerer. Nobody in your list as they can't be stopped with anything. Their blocks and attack, even if you got the Sorcerer in a combo and stunned. I was gonna add the Sorcerer because I think, sort of nowadays, I, I do have trouble with that guy in particular. He pain the f***ing asshole, the digital shit he does. Oh my god. Um, but more so, I, I guess you could say that those picks were kind of based off, um, the different enemies that I personally had trouble with, like, as a kid. Um, because, I mean, these days, now that most of us actually know how to play the game, <laughs> well, that's debatable. That's debatable. Um, I know you guys are gonna probably be like, dude, you don't even use guard, man. You can't say you even know how to play Kingdom Hearts. You don't even use guard, man. <laughs> But, you know, you don't exactly have too much trouble with the game nowadays compared to playing it as a kid. So, yeah, a lot of those picks, I guess you could say, were based off um, the different enemies that I actually personally had trouble with as a kid. Um, but even still, so, like, a lot of those things still piss me off, especially the Berserker. That thing, fuck that thing. And I swear to God, if they put it back in Kingdom Hearts 3, I swear to God, dude. <laughs> I ain't gonna be happy. I ain't gonna be happy. Cards you pick are added to the top of your stack. Thank you so much, Molly, for uh, the assist, even though you're like big boy villain. Um, thanks so much, man. Uh, backstory, Ben, what's going on, dude? Thanks so much for the one bang arenas. Hey, Jared, can't stay because I'm working on more Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom cards. Uh, you did look up. Uh, you did look that up earlier, didn't you? I, I, I haven't yet, man. I do apologize. I have not. Uh, Kappa, anyway, I really want to stay, but I got stuff to do. Just wanted to give you some, uh, support anyway. Thank you so much, my dude. I will keep that noted. It's actually notepadded over here. Let me just bring it up, though. Okay, it was brought up. Nice. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate you, man. What if they bring back the Emerald Serenade? They better... They better fucking not. <laughs> I swear to God that thing is the fucking worst. I mean, that that's kind of like one of the reasons as to why I'm happy that we're not dipping into 358, because that boss in particular, I mean, you know, you, you got like Leech Grave, you've also got um, Duster Flyer as well, those guys are a pain in the nipple, um, because they are actually quite tough, however, the Emerald Serenade, I mean, he's not tough, he's just really, really fucking annoying, like, insanely annoying. He, he basically, like, I think you have to fight three of them within 358 over two days, but the one in particular that I really do remember was the one uh, within the hedge maze in um, Wonderland. And oh my god, dude, like, they just go around in this circuit, but they go so fast and they have so much health. It takes, on. I think, 
the stream that I did for 358, it took me probably a good 25, 30 minutes to do that one mission. To do that one mission. No. Screw that thing. <laughs> Okie doke. You have no more cards. And without them, no power. No power! Well, that, that's kind of a problem. We need power. Power is important. Power helps us slap the booty. Alright, reload that shit, boy. Nice. Nice. What's going on, Jidu? Thanks so much for the one slapperino, dude. Hey, bud. Good to see you again. Uh, to start this stream off right, here's a messed up joke. <laughs> the only way to start off the stream, right? Am I right? Uh, what's the difference between my 12-year-old cousin and me? I fortunately never had a personal encounter with Jared from Subway. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. We're, we're, br we're bringing Jared into this? Not me, not me, but Subway Jared. Hmm. He went astray, man. It, it's it's sad to uh, see the path he took, but um, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate it. Okay, Ma Molly, thank you. Now, th this is a little bit of a uh, I, I suppose you could say constructive criticism, and this this goes towards any video game out there. But I swear to God, if your video game is going to have a tutorial, which for the most part, like most games do. Uh, they kind of help out in terms of knowing how to play the game. Um, but if any game does have a tutorial, please, for the love of God, make sure that on your second or other multiple playthroughs, after your first playthrough, please, <laughs> make sure the game knows that you've done a playthrough so that the next time you play through it, there's like a skip tutorial option. I, I swear to God. This is one of the most agitating things about video games. They just never think about the skip tutorial option. And... I love game. I absolutely adore games that introduce that system. Is it sad that I never made the connection that you sh <laughs> you shared his first name? Gogeta, please come on, man. Gogeta, please. <laughs> oh, dude. But yeah, um, I I get sick of dragging my ass through these tutorials that I have done time and time again. And like, tutorials, they're so tedious. Like, it's always the same shit. It, it's just, it's someone telling you, like, this is how you do this, this is how you do it. It's like, dude, I know I played the game a million times over, man. You don't have to tell me for the 86th time. I mean, come on, dude. But anyway, um... We can skip these, actually. We, we, we're just gonna do that, straight off the bat. I don't know why we didn't do that at first. BBS, actually, you're damn right, uh, KW Stin. BBS allowed you to do that. That is beautiful. But so far, uh, I'm pretty sure that's the only Kingdom Hearts game that actually allows you to skip the damn tutorial. Oh my god. Uh, Roxas to somebody, what's going on, man? Thanks so much for the one bangerino. Yo, Jared, looking forward to recom. At least you don't have to worry about the Emerald Serenade for a little while longer. Also, loved your top 10 video, uh, uh, top 10 video earlier on today. Keep it up, my boy. Thank you so much for your kind words, man. You're damn straight. You're damn straight. We don't have to deal with that Emerald Serenade. Oh my god. I'm grateful. <laughs> I'm grateful, man. Alright, we got a Blizzard. Nice. I'm pretty sure Blizzard's always in that barrel. But uh, we'll make sure that we smack all of the barrels because on the off chance, we might get a uh, Kingdom Key card, which is always nice. I'll, I'll take as many damn cards as I can get at this point. We need we need damn cards, dude. Alright, CP, that's always cool, that's always cool. Alright. Not needing the good stuff, not needing the good stuff. All right, break this shit. Yeah. Huh. Oh, nice. See? <coughs> so yeah, like I was saying, guys... I legit just choked them. Like, no shit. Actually, just sort of only slightly choked. I'm still breathing. We're still good. We're, we're good to go. Don't you worry about it. 
Um, so for the people who ended up missing uh, yesterday's kind of like Twitter update video that I put out on Twitter, um, the reason behind why we're not doing 358 is uh, the night before yesterday. So I was looking for my 3DS charger because I do have a 3DS capture card built into my 3DS. And uh, I'm going to use that to obviously record um, 358 over two days. That's how I'm going to be able to stream 358 over two days. So I went to turn my 3DS on, and to my surprise, the 3DS is dead. And, like, to be honest, it's been sitting there for ages. It's been sitting there collecting dust for probably, like, the, the past, I don't know, five, six months now? <laughs> Literally doing nothing. So the console itself is dead. I spent a good two hours, like, a good two hours cleaning out everything. Um, and, yeah, no, I, could, I couldn't find any charges. So the day after, like the day which was yesterday when we were meant to stream, I went out, I went looking for a 3DS charger. There was one place that I went to, I think it was one of the warehouses, which is like this, it's, it's kind of like Walmart, and they said that they had one in stock, but the person, like, a person came in and bought it the day before. So I, I just missed out. Otherwise, every other place that I went to uh, didn't actually have a 3DS charger. So it has me freaking out, um, so what I ended up doing was I ended up just uh, ordering one off the internet, so that should be here in a few days. Uh, so yeah, that's why we're doing uh, Rechain of Memories at the moment. So, yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately. I, like I was saying, you know, I don't mind Rechain, it's, uh, for me personally, in terms of its gameplay, I, I find it a lot more enjoyable than 358 over two days. I don't, I don't know why. I, th I think it's just that mission system within 358. Uh, it, mm, I like the gas system. That was cool. But otherwise, yeah. <laughs> 358. Oh, what's going on? Uh, da -da -da, tricks. How's it going? Thank you so much for the one. A uh, bang arena. I think you might be reading too much into what Namara said about Luarium. Luarium isn't Mali in the same way Sora isn't Roxas or Lee isn't Axel. They're their own person slash Vers uh, version. Think just a pancake made the uh, made the point. In an interview, Namura was. Hmm, that's a good point. Actually, that is that's a good point. That is a very good point. I think with we might have to look into that further. We might actually have to look into that further. I think when it comes to Namura, you have to really be careful with with his wording. Um, but that is, that is a very good point. That is a very good point. <laughs> when putting it together, I mean, honestly, I didn't look at it in that way, so... Yeah, no, that's a good point. Also, by the way, um, now, I, I've been receiving a lot of stuff recently, uh, in terms of talk, talking, speaking of which, speaking of which, right? Um... I, this is probably the most requested thing I've received in, like, a long time. In, in a long time, trust me. Uh, but a lot of you guys want me to react to, uh, just the pancake stuff, and at some point I'm going to do it. I have caught a couple of his videos, um, and I have to say the man is... I'm trying to think of the right word. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Meme-tastic, actually. That's probably the best... The best way to put it. The man is meme-tastic. I like his content from what I've seen so far. Obviously, I'm, I'm not wanting to kind of like go through all of his stuff. So I don't want to save that for the reaction. But at some point, at some point, yes, we are going to do like a little bit of a feature on him. Because I would like sort of his stuff to be more, kind of more out there, if you know what I mean. Like, as of right now, his stuff is blowing up. And I say good on him. Like, honestly, good on him. It, it makes me so thrilled to know... Uh, that more people are joining in on this whole Kingdom Hearts content creation thing. And uh, actually seeing people becoming, like, really successful through it makes me absolutely thrilled. I think his memes are fucking hilarious. So, um... Yeah, at some point we're gonna get around to it. I, I just thought I'd kind of, like, mention it because I know as of right now, it's just so highly requested. Like, my comment section is usually, when are you gonna do the whole Just a Pancake reaction? When are you gonna, like, watch his videos or, like, talk about him or something? And trust me, I know who he is, I've seen some of his stuff, I think he's fantastic. So at some point, we will get around to, obviously, uh, doing some stuff with his content. For sure. Um, but uh, if he ends up seeing this, dude, you're making some great content, man. Keep up that juicy stuff. Keep up that juicy stuff. 
All right, give me the give me the heal, dude. Thank you, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. So, uh, rechain of memories is kind of scary when it comes to Donald. As you guys should probably know, like everything is obviously uh, element based well, for the most part, anyway. So, for instance, if you were to use fire against the fire based enemy, uh, it's going to obviously heal them. Now, the problem with Donald is uh, when you summon him, he does. I think it's four different magics: cure, thunder, fire, and blizzard. And it's completely randomized. It's complete, and he, he's he's not smart as well. The AI in this is not smart. So like, if there is a fire enemy, you summon him forward. He, he's not gonna know that the enemy is fire based. He'll just be like, all right, fuck it. I'll just use what whatever's in my arsenal. So yeah, there is that chance that he will whip out fire and heal the fire based enemy or boss. I remember this especially being annoying on both the Vexen as well as the Axel fights. Holy shit! <laughs> as well as the Haiti fight. The Hades fight, I think I actually did a highlight on that. But uh, honestly, dude, holy shit. It, it is the most frustrating thing. He can be very good, but he can also be extremely bad. Um, because when you when you stack like three Donalds, you're obviously going to get uh, Donald Magic Level 3, which means he's going to be doing like Fireaga, Blizzaga, Thundaga and shit. And you do not want to see how much health gets healed when fucking Donald whips out that Fireaga against Hades. Hades gets like a whole nother bar back, dude. It, it is a literal migraine. <laughs> it's a pain in the ass. Donald is a double-edged sword. Exactly. Yes. The best way to put it, man. He honestly is. In this game, he is nothing but a double-edged sword. He can, he can be fantastic. Like, summons are usually really, really powerful uh, within this game, but... My god, you gotta be careful with Donald, dude. You've got to be careful with Donald. <laughs> Also, I've seen a few uh, comments in the chat. Uh, a lot of you guys are saying, what difficulty is this? So, in case you missed the start of the screen, uh, the, ooh, see, that was close. That was close, except you got the shadows, so I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, this is proud mode, guys. So, I think from here on in, we're just going to be playing all of the Kingdom Hearts games to, you know, the remainder ones that we need to play through to finish the series. Uh, I think we're gonna play all of those on the harder difficulties, just because I I know you guys like me playing on those harder difficulties. <laughs> you guys like to see me struggle. <laughs> uh, Symphonic Flames, what's going on, man? Thank you so much for the five bangerinos. Appreciate that support, man. Goes a long way. Can't stay, but just wanted to say hi and hope you have a great stream and rip to your 3DS challenge. <laughs> First, it's the Dream Drop Distance save file, which kind of is 3DS, well not really, because it was on the PlayStation 4 version. Now it's the goddamn charger. It, it, this stuff just, it never ends. It never ends. Also, when I was putting together the uh, top 10 most annoying enemies yesterday, I was uh, almost cons- Oh my god, dude, look at that. Look at that, terrible. Where's the accuracy at, Sora? I was actually considering, um... Putting the shadow at like number ten, putting him at like obviously the uh, the highest, yeah, the highest placement. Um, mainly because like th they're not a pain in the ass to to kill because they're extremely weak. They have like no health whatsoever. But the the whole phasing into the ground, I absolutely hate that shit. I absolutely hate that shit. It's the amount of times I've complained about that. I swear to God, the the phasing into the ground. Oh God, no. No, it's not. It's not okay. It's not okay. As well as the Neo Shadows. Yeah, the Neo Shadows do it as well. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is like another tutorial thing. Oh, God damn it. Leon, please. Not you too, buddy. Not you too, giving us the rundown. Card break. Well, thanks for that, Leon. Thanks for the heads up, man. <laughs> Alright. Now he's gonna get into zero cards. Yes, yes, yes. They are the weakest, but yet the strongest at the same time. Once again, double-edged. Double-edged. <laughs> Alright. 
damn stock cards. We've been stocking cards for the past 20 minutes. I mean, what are you talking about? Oh, tutorials, man. Goddamn tutorials. Catch you later, Mr. Doom. Thank you so much for coming down, man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Values, sums, numbers, breaks, ch chains of Doritos. You know how it is. All right. Oh god, that that's probably about I don't know the biggest speech bubble I've seen within the Kingdom Hearts games, and of course it's within a tutorial. <laughs> Leon, please, please, dude, please. All right, only one more thing. It, it better only be one more thing. <laughs> okay, Slates. Thanks for that, buddy. Appreciate the uh, the moral support. All right, we're good. Uh, and like usual, guys, we will be watching through the cutscenes. There's actually not many cutscenes throughout Chain of Memories. Like cutscenes really only trigger once you uh, complete like each world sort of thing. Like there's not consistent cutscenes throughout each world because obviously like the worlds work different within Chain of Memories. Uh, but we are going to be skipping the whole text bubble cutscenes just to save a bit of time. But we will be watching through the like normal cutscenes. We're heartless moves slowly. All right, all right. Oh, the Joker card, dude. Don't, don't even start. Don't. You're bringing back some juicy memories, man. <laughs> all right, nice. Dunk that guy on the face. Right on the face. That's where it hurts the most. On the face. <laughs> uh, Alright, I think the next time we level up, I'm gonna get a slate. It's just like, I don't know, this game is a lot funner when you actually have the abilities. There's some seriously cool abilities within Chain of Memories. I mean, I think that's kind of like another thing that I really like about the game. The amount of different cool abilities that you get in this game is so badass, so cool. Um, but yeah, it's kind of boring without them, so we'll make sure to get slates, like, when we can. Tranquil Darkness, nice. Sliding Dash, that's the first one we get. And that is three fives. Alright, Key of Guidance. You'll never live that down. <laughs> yeah, not one of my uh, brightest moments. Oh, man. Actually, I think that's like the only time we ever went through uh, Rechain, which, thinking about it now, is... Yeah, that was quite a long time ago, wasn't it? That was about a good two years ago. Uh, what's going on, Michaela? Thank you so much for the one, Bangarino. Appreciate you. Hey, Cynical. Your stream just made me feel better from a bad day I had today. So thanks a bunch, my dude. Also, hilariously enough, I'm also playing Recom on my PlayStation 4 as well. Laxine actually pissed off my mum from uh, one room away. <laughs> oh, she's sassy. Oh, she... Luxine in this game, damn, damn, it feels good to backhand that girl in this game. I, I gotta, I gotta let you know, like, I gotta let you know. The way she treats a nominee, <laughs> I'm not having it. Mm -mm. I'm not having it. It's, it's not good enough. But yeah, no, that, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, getting up to Luxine, for sure. For sure. <laughs> Thanks so much, Michaela, shout out to you. Thanks so much for the support, Arenas. That or the 30-hour uh, save, okay, that right there is not my brightest moment, but for sure, for sure. I think in that moment, I just, oh my god, that was actually this year, because, um, yeah, that was on 2.8 Dream Drop Distance. Pretty sure that was, two. yeah, 2.8 Dream Drop Distance. Because actually, the, uh, the crazy thing is, part of that 32-hour save file um, was obviously, like, the completion of all the special portals. And if you guys have done those, you'll know how, like long it takes to do those. Honestly, it, it like, they're cool, but after a while, it's just, you, you're pretty much just doing the same stuff. Take out a bunch of Dream Eaters, and there's so many of them. 
And to get the trophy, you've obviously got to do all of the portals, and, um... I had only just completed, like, all of the portals the day before. Got the Keyblade, I think it's like... It's not Dark Gnaw. I don't know why I'm thinking of Dark Gnaw. That, that's from Birth by Sleep. Um... But yeah, there's a Keyblade that corresponds to it for completing all of the special portals. Got that, and then the day after, streamed straight after the stream, saved over my normal save file. Like, what the... <laughs> Sat there in like utter disbelief. Utter disbelief. Oh god, oh god, oh god. First, you can, I, I guess you can kind of play this game like Kingdom Hearts, but like as you start getting into the harder fights and stuff, yeah, you really need to kind of like start looking at your card values and laying out your deck correctly and stuff. Yo, what's going on, Emily? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> that sucks. Still hurting, I see. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Uh, still start from that day. I mean, I had plans to uh, platinum Dream Drop Distance, and uh, ever since that day happened. Yeah, those plans have kind of walked out the door. I'll get, I'll get around to it at some point, but <laughs> for the time being, that's kind of on the uh, back burner. All right, so we just got an eight cure, which is really good. Um, really good. We have a decent amount of CP to play around with as well. Thirty-nine for an eight, dude. Okay. Um, actually, Blizzard. Alright, let's use... That's a 5 Blizzard. Okay, that's cool. And we've also got a 3 Kingdom Key here, which I'll chuck in. We obviously have our Guard Armor coming up, so it's best to be prepared. Oh, dude, that Blizzard! That's what I'm saying! That power! That icy power! By the way, it's uh, also... Like, it's not good to aimlessly just stack like I'm doing. It's just we're using these cards because shadows. <laughs> shadows. But yeah, aimlessly stocking like that, it, it's not a good idea because you're, uh, I believe it's the first card you stack with or stock with um, gets deleted. So like, if I were to do the one and two, three, the two and three will come back when I uh, reload my deck, but the one won't. Alright, nice. Alright, a nine teeming darkness, dude. Oh, perfect. Boom! Oh, I wanted the spread effect. Grinding isn't also too bad, like, in this game as well. Um, I, I mean, you can just pretty much spawn rooms, which is pretty convenient for exactly that. So, yeah, here and there we might actually do a little bit of grinding. We are playing on Proud, so things are sort of bound to get a little bit spicy here and there. <laughs> I thought we were going to start um, 358 over two days. So, uh, basically, Emily, to, to sum it up real fast, uh, I'm using my 3DS to... <laughs> record uh, 3858 over two days. I do have a capture card for it, but unfortunately, I haven't used my 3DS in a long time, and I ended up losing my charge. I must have lost it, like, when I was packing and uh, moving my stuff into this place, because we moved April this year, so it was probably around that time, honestly. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, that means that we couldn't start 358 over two days. I went out yesterday to try a look for one to obviously start up 358 uh, yesterday, but unfortunately, like, all of the places I went to didn't have 3DS charges, so it meant that I actually had to uh, order one off the internet. So 358, we'll jump into that after we finish rechain. What's going on, Tardis? How's it going, man? Thank you so much for the one bangerino, my dude. Uh, that's why I have a backup save file. I suck at this game. I don't know how to build a deck for the life of me. <laughs> Trust me, dude. Like when, 
Honestly, like when anyone starts a chain of memories going from like what they're usually used to within uh, Kingdom Hearts, everyone's gonna suck because it's just, it's so different. It's so different. But uh, once you actually play through it like a few times, like a couple of times, uh, you really start to get the hang of like how the whole system works. Um, honestly, my first like two, three playthroughs of this game, I, I was still at the point where I was like, no, I, I do not like this um, this combat system. I don't like the way it plays. I don't like the sort of card strategy behind it. Uh, but like I was saying earlier on in the stream, you know, it wasn't until this year where I was thinking, wow, you know, once you actually take the time to learn the card system and start using slates, it, it becomes a lot of fun. So I recommend actually going through Rechain at least a couple of times to kind of get the hang of things to really learn how the system works because yeah it, it's honestly just so different to that of what Kingdom Hearts actually is. <laughs> I mean I don't know why they thought let's make the game after Kingdom Hearts 1 like all card based and stuff like what they had going on in Kingdom Hearts 1 was perfect they didn't need to change anything. Well, there was a few things that needed changing, but they did exactly that in Kingdom Hearts 2. But why they uh, why they decided to make the next Kingdom Hearts game after one, like a card-based sort of game, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe Yu-Gi-Oh! or something was popping around that time. They're like, okay, we need to jump in on this Yu-Gi-Oh! hype, dude. We need to jump in on the Yu-Gi-Oh! hype. <laughs> Ooh, nice break. My Goku, Sean, what's up? Puff! Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Killed him before the final smack. Good stuff. Alright, him in the booty. Bit of thunder as well, that's what I like to see. <coughs> I was going on that one guy, too. Thank you so much for the one bang arenas. Oh, another encounter. Nice, nice, nice. The more XP, the better I see. Thanks so much for the one bang arena, man. Hey, Cynical, I'm going to start doing my Kingdom Hearts 1 series. Why did I say Kingdom Hearts 1? <laughs> my Kingdom Hearts series later this week. I'll be starting with Kingdom Hearts 1, like you suggested, and rip your charger. <laughs> oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you, dude. <laughs> Good luck with the Kingdom Hearts series, man. Thanks so much for the support, dude. Um, where are we going? Okay, there, there's the door. There's the door. Yo, did did you guys see that? I'm pretty sure that shadow like just despawned. That was kind of weird. Is it like a certain? Okay, no, no, it's not. I was thinking maybe it's like a certain tile of the ground despawns him. But, uh, yeah, speaking of which, like, in terms of the whole save file thing, um, ever since that happened, I kind of got into the swing of saving in save file 99, which means that you can just press up, and it'll take you right to 99. But, yeah, I kind of got used to that. <laughs> it, it, it's a good thing to get used to, um, honestly. It's a good thing to get used to. Just to make sure that, you know, you got your back up there. If anything happens, you know it's going to be there. We got God Armor. I'm gonna try not to stack cards, because don't want to run out of cards. Like, that's the absolute worst. Getting to the point where the boss is nearly dead, but you've only got, like, twos and threes. <laughs> that is the worst. Do some shit, Donald. No, I don't need heals. God damn it, dude. I don't need heals. Put the herbs and spices away, Donald. God. Okay, that, that was kind of a waste. That, that was kind of a waste. Oh, okay. The game's being generous. The game is definitely being generous. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Alright, easy, easy, Bigfoot. Go, Donald, do some shit. Okay, Thunder, nice. Bit of a heal, alright. Keeping me healthy, I see. I like it. Alright, one of these. Break that shit <laughs> before I get squashed to death. Oh, dude, what, what am I, what? What was that? <laughs> that was negative 58 accuracy, that's what that was. The game is just handing me cards. Alright, even though he doesn't have legs, it's still hitting. Nice. Yeah, it's probably gonna get broken. Oh, good shit. Okay. The highest card I've seen this thing pull is a 5. Like, I don't know if that is actually his the highest card, but... I mean, that's the highest thing I've seen so far. There we go. Nice. Uh, what's going on, Psychotic? Uh, been gone for a while. <laughs> been gone a while. Thanks so much for the uh, one. Slap Reno. Uh, sorry, been gone a while. Work and school came up first. Sorry, my boy. I can't really stick around here either, but I'm... Pro but I promise after I get settled, uh... Sorry, dude, I'm trying to, like, decipher your message. <laughs> but I promise after I get settled in, I'll be back. Here's a fucked up joke. Why did God give man penises? So that... So they'd have... They'd have at one way... I'm, I'm feeling like autocorrect has really, really slapped you, psychotic. <laughs> so that would have one... One way to shut up woman. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Psychotic bring in the edge. Can always can always count on you, man. Thank you so much for the support. Yeah, but I'm feeling like autocorrect uh, might have attacked your message. <laughs> Thank you so much, dude. Oh my god. Edgy, edgy. Yeah, edgy. <laughs> oh man. <Ugh. laughs> Thank you so much, psychotic. Um all right, so we're at Conquer's, Conqueror's, Conqueror's res, Respite. We got it. We got there in the end. Um, let's go into one more room. What? I forgot to check, like, how much XP until the next level. Oh, status. <laughs> what are we doing? XP, alright, to next level 21, so what level are we now? We're level 5. So like usual guys, uh, Rig Chain of Memories is going to work the exact way as uh, our other Kingdom Hearts series has worked as well, so generally in each stream we're going to be doing uh, one world per stream, that's how it's going to work, so uh, what I'm going to be doing here is we are only like, what, 50 minutes? So we've got some good time here, but I'm going to do just a little bit of grinding like I said, things are bound to get spicy later on, so it's it's good to be ahead of the ball game. It's good to be ahead of the ball game. That way, our ass is not grass. <laughs> uh, let's do all right. Let's do Team Darkness. Let's get that XP, man. Let's get that XP. I'll be back more frequently. And the choke. Well, I think you get the point. <laughs> and hell yeah, I'll always bring the end. You can count on you, psychotic. Thank you so much, dude. That god dang autocorrect though, man. <laughs> Titus, what's going on, man? Thanks so much for the four bang arenas. Let's attack these things from this side. Let's try to get all three, but don't worry about it. Okay, this is going to be... Oh? Oh? Okay. All right. I was locked on to that guy, though, but he did take out one of the... Uh... One of them, so I'm impressed about that. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, thank you so much for the uh, four bangerinos, Tardis. Appreciate you, man. I grew up with four brothers. I learnt that uh, lesson early. Oh, is that about saving, making uh, backup saves and stuff? <laughs> I bet, dude. Yo, I can imagine, though, like, having four brothers with, like, a PlayStation 2 8 megabyte memory card. Oh my god, man. How did you manage that? <laughs> Those things can't hold anything. It's crazy to think, like, speaking of which, it's crazy to actually think that back in the day, the biggest sort of storage unit that we had for the PlayStation system was 8 megabytes. 
like eight megabytes. I'm trying to think of what the size was for PlayStation 1 memory cards. But yeah, eight eight megabytes, dude, for PlayStation 2. Nowadays we got like one terabyte and stuff. It's, it's insane. It's insane. Blizzard Raid would be absolutely fantastic, guys. Uh, an ability that I found myself using like all throughout the game. Either that or like uh, Spark Raid, Thunder Raid. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it's called Thunder Raid. Um, but any of those raid abilities would be nice to get. You generally get like Fire or Blizzard Raid pretty early on in the game. Thunder. I mean, I remember getting Thunder both times around sort of Destiny Islands, which isn't until like way later on. When you download old games on PS4, they're like 150 <laughs> megabytes in size. I know, it's crazy to see, and like nowadays, uh, using using good old uh, Black Ops 3, because um, my friend wanted to act, it, it was nuts. I didn't even know this about Black Ops 3, but that game is literally like 60 gigabytes standalone, right? The update file for it, the total size of all of its updates is I think around about 80 gigs, so I mean, that is, that right there is insane, man. That is a decent, that is a solid over 100 gigabytes worth of content right there. Like, games are getting huge these days. It's insane to think about. Insane to think about. Alright, nice. 142... Alright, we'll also make sure that we're smacking, like, all of the shit in... No, dude, no! We got a cut! Yeah, see, that's the worst. That's the word. When you... When you actually, like, pull a card, but then you get dragged into an encounter, <laughs> and you lose the card. Yeah, that's the worst. If you get a digital copy of Shadow of War, it's around 100 gigs. I... Exactly! I mean, sizes are getting insane, man. In about three years, video game sizes will be, like, upwards of 100 uh, gigabytes. It'll be insane. Like, the standard for games will literally be 100 gigabytes. Like, even with the 1 terabyte, because I've got the PlayStation 4 Pro, so that comes uh, as 1 terabyte, I'm still having to, like, delete my stuff out of my storage. So, whenever I get a new game or something like that, like, constantly having to delete stuff, it is so annoying. <laughs> Oh, nice, dude. Music Love, what's going on? Thank you so much for the support of five Smackerinos. Let's have a great playthrough on, honestly, my least favorite Kingdom Hearts game. How are you today, man? I'm going good, Music Lover. Thank you so much for asking. Appreciate your kindness. Appreciate your kindness. I'm going good. Haven't really been up to much uh, today. Ended up uh, dropping Taylor off at a uh, job interview. Had to wait around for, like, 40 minutes, so I just kind of, like, sat in the car. Scrolled through Twitter for quite some time, and pretty much did some AFK things that you do when you're AFK, you know? <laughs> but yeah, no, my day has been uh, pretty good so far, pretty good. Thanks so much for asking, and thanks so much for the five bang arenas. But uh, you, you're not alone on this being your least favorite Kingdom Hearts game. This used to be my least favorite Kingdom Hearts game. Now it's 358 over two days. Um, but yeah, many people will agree with you on that. I, I can sort of agree. I can see where people are coming from when they say this is their least favorite, because for a long time it used to be mine as well. We just got a 9 blizzard. I only just noticed that. That's going to be super helpful later on. Well, that blizzard raid, that's what we're stacking it with. Alright, any more swarms? Yes, nice. We'll get that CP. Simple and sheen. Freeze. From this side, 
Oh, good spread, good spread. That's what I've been aiming for this whole entire time. For some reason, the Blizzard is only ever connecting like with the first Red Nocturne. <laughs> we got there in the end. Yeah, I'm with you, Hearts Creed. Like, that's exactly what I think. I think the gameplay in Re Chain of Memories is, yeah, a lot more enjoyable than 358 over two days. I, I, oh my god, the combat in 358, I can't do it. It's like... It's trying to be Kingdom Hearts. It's, it's trying to be Kingdom Hearts on DS, which obviously it is. I mean, Recoded did it so much better. Like, Recoded's gameplay is... It's beautiful. It's like BBS translated... BBS's gameplay sort of translated onto DS, and they did it perfectly. Super fast-paced, it's that nice, quick, hack-and-slash Kingdom Hearts action, keeps the cool abilities in it. I thought it was great. And I think the uh, the chip system in re uh, Recoded... I thought that was cool. Like, there's a lot of character building in, um... Like, the way you can build your resistances and all that, all of that kind of stuff, like... I enjoyed that in uh, Recode. I think it's, I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, the level up system in 358 is cool. Uh, we were talking about this before, but um, I, I think the gas system in 358 is is probably one of its high points when it comes to gameplay. When it story is beautiful, but uh, yes, yeah, gameplay yeah, not so much. <laughs> Oh, what's going on, Sario? Thank you so much for the one bang arena, man. I have a challenge for you uh, for the whole series. Collect all the color Heartless cards, a Wizard, a Neo Shadow, a Shadow, and a Dark Ball. There will be a reward for getting them all. Also, you missed my last donation. Oh, let me quickly catch up with that, man. Uh, thank you so much for the one bang arena. 18 minutes ago, man. Uh, here, just made this during the stream since the last one I showed you. It's crap, but hey, I uh, hope you like your winning card. Let I'm actually getting like ballerina slapped at the moment. Give me one sec, dude. There we go. <laughs> Thanks so much for the support, man. Very cool, man. Very, very, very cool. Um, give me one sec. I've always been like interested to create sort of animated gift type of things, but like the the problem with me is I cannot draw for the life of me. Which is a really frustrating thing. I think, like, people who draw, right. you guys have it good. I I'm jealous of people who can draw. Like, there's so many things I would love to put from pen to paper. <laughs> but that translation doesn't usually end up too good. It's pretty much the end result of that is usually just stick figures. Like, usually just stick figures. <laughs> I'm envious of people who can draw. Absolutely envious, man. Thank you so much for the support. Very cool gift right there, Sario. Appreciate you, man. Um, collect all of the Color Heartless cards. Alright. Well, as we're going through the series, uh, I'm going to... Obviously, like, the Heartless cards are all random because it's RNG drop chance as to if you get them or not. Um, but if we get them, we get them. That'd be super cool if we do. Um, because one of the trophies is completing the entire card deck, which can sort of be annoying, especially when you're relying on RNG. Like, relying on RNG is, it's not a fun time, especially if you're doing it for something, in this case for a trophy. Yeah, it's a pain in the titty. It is, it's a pain in the titty. I can only manage to ever get one, it's so annoying. Goofy smash, alright. Oh wait, I was... Tripping out, it's a goofy smash. Donald comes out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm like, that ain't goofy, dude. Goofy. All right, here he comes. Hit a big boy. Hell yeah, dude. Smack Reno. That's what I like to see. All right, pop that shit. Nice. Sliding dash Reno. All right, sleeping darkness. Nice, nice, nice. Stun impact. I might go for HP. Yeah. It's good to have some HP. <laughs> Always good. The West Fire, what's going on, man? Thanks so much for 14 months. That's some insanely uh, juicy stuff right there, my dude. 14 months of smiles and raging. Woo. Thank you so much for the support, man. Appreciate that. Pretty sure this is key to rewards. It is. So back this way we go. Back this way we go. Alright, so we got level 7. I think that should be good. Um, from here on in, we'll be going to Wonderland. 
let's quickly go and yeah. grab that cutscene. Uh, God of Shades, what's going on, man? Thanks so much for the one slapper turkey Reno, dude. Appreciate the juicy support. Yo, Cynical, uh, have you what's... Ha wait. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Ha have you... Have you... What's your favorite... I feel like you were going to ask another question, but decided not to. Uh, what's your favorite Kingdom Hearts opening? Uh, and you missed my sub. Oh, shout out... Oh, shout out to you, Gods of Shade. What's going on, man? Thanks so much for subbing to the Genix. Enjoy your stay this month, man. Um, what's my favorite Kingdom Hearts opening? Damn. Ah, oh, they're all so good. Especially now that, like, all of them are pretty much in HD. Man. Um... It's hard, because the 0.2 one is tight. I loved the 0.2 Birth by Sleep opening they did. I'm actually surprised that they did a, like, fully-fledged CG opening for such a short game. Um, yeah, it was good to see everyone. I'd probably have to go with Dream Drop Distances, though. I, really I guess it kind of acts as a what do you have to give? refresher on everything that's happened throughout the series. It shows you the events of, kind of, like, Kingdom Hearts 1, slight events of Chain of Memories, Kingdom Hearts Hello. 2... Um, obviously 358 over two days, the whole Roxas and Axel fight at the start of Kingdom Hearts 2, so I go with uh, DDD. DDD's one is, and now that it's in HD, oh my god, it looks beautiful. Then perhaps you'd like to test him. Perhaps I would. My show now, Keyblade Master. Oh, dude. Who am I? Oh, my name's Axel. Got it memorized. No. Uh, Sure. <laughs> Good. You're a quick learner. <coughs> so, Sora, now that we're getting to know each other better... He loves his dramatic openings. He, he loves his dramatic Don't introductions and openings, and doesn't he? <laughs> Don't go ahead and die on me now? Is, is this Kingdom Hearts? Did he just say die? Did he, did he just say die? <laughs> Uh, what I should have done is chuck that 9 blizzard in here. That would have been super good for this point. Oh, dude, no. Oh. Okay, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Not good. Should have saved his arrow, should have saved his arrow, should have saved his arrow. Oh, and we can't. We don't have any ethers, so we can't replenish our goddamn blizzard. Alright! Ah, uh, what's going on? Do -do 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 -do. Patriot Prime, thank you so much for subbing, dude. Welcome to the Chin Arena. It's in your, your state. Oh, okay, actually, no. We got, we got that hand collection. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Now, I swear to God, Donald. Donald, do not do it. Don't do it. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Damn it. Don't do it. Don't you do God damn it, dude. I should have just I should have just left it. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. If if you're gonna take like five minutes to I find the right card. I'll, I'll just turkey slap you, man. I'm, I'm all good with that. <laughs> all right, nice. And that is Axel. Done and rusted, man. Done and rusted. And we got us a fire. Nice, nice, nice. Good old five fire. Yo, what's going on, Limit? Welcome to the stream, my dude. Uh, this is Danielle. What's going on? Thank you so much for the one bang Reno. Hey there, Chinical. First time donator here. Thanks for the awesome stream. I agree. DDD indeed has the best opening 
And by the way, here's the drawing I did of Ursula. Keep up the awesome work. You make me smile. You, hmm. You're too much, Daniel. Thank I you so much. You Let me check you. this out. When you make Travers Town. Oh, that is then that I is on point. I keep going. I love how That's accurate right. you uh, define that chin. It's beautiful. It is. It is beautiful. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you so much, uh, Danielle. Appreciate you. Did you really think after that introduction, I would give up? Oh, so. I got of shades. What's going on, dude? Thanks so much for the continual support. Us. Chairs for the and three bangerinos. Oops, I was typing in another chat so box. Uh, if I have a You're heart transplant, uh, does that make me a Kingdom Hearts Olivia. character? <laughs> I don't think that's a thing. Don't, please don't go ahead and do something like that. I, I don't think that's a thing just just yet. Although I heard something about something to do with the heart transplant happening this year and that it's like one of the first. I don't know if it's already been done or not. Um, I guess so. I, I guess it does. I mean, technically speaking, yes. It's that kind of Kingdom Hearts sort of concept. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, no, I mean, technically, that would kind of mean that you'd have somebody else's heart. So, in a way, I guess you could say that you'd sort of be like Xehanort. Hmm. The fact that he's kind of got, like, Terra's heart within inside of his own, but then that's still his own heart, but somebody else is within his heart. Oh, my. There's too much heart stuff going on. Goddamn Kingdom Hearts. to give you a hint? Sora? Do you need it? I'm gonna figure it out for myself. If you're in my way... Don't worry, Sora. We'll protect you. Oh, it's okay, Donald. It, it's answer. cool, man. Don't don't Just worry about it. Don't stress it, dude. Wave, master. <laughs> but be forewarned. When your sleeping memories awaken... You may no longer be who you are now. Dun, dun, dun. All right, and we got all of the world cards. Nice, nice, nice. What's going on, Dad? One guy, two. Thanks so much for the one. Slap Arenas. Uh, what is your favorite game series besides Kingdom Hearts? Um, I've been asked this in the past, and it's really hard to answer this because I have so many other series that I really love. Love the Fallout series. Love Jack and Daxter. Love Ratchet and Clank. Love Sly Raccoon. It's it's really hard to kind of like pick one other one. Like I love Halo. I love Bioshock. All of those series right there are probably like all of my favorites. Um, but it's hard to kind of depict one of them in particular. That's kind of like yes, that one. If if it's not Kingdom Hearts, it's that one. It's like there's just so many good games out there, and I think Kingdom Hearts, especially kind of like shines above those for me anyway. Um, but still, it can't be true. All of those, I would have to say. Yep. Feels like just about anything could happen here in Castle Obliv-y, Obliv-y, uh, Obliv- the Castle Obliv-y! Oh, yeah! Now I Ob remember! Ob <laughs> we'll be okay. <laughs> Whatever it is they're cooking up, we'll be able to handle it together. Of Course we will! Like that creepy castle we explored together! The one with all those weird contraptions! Mm. When was that? What? Gorge. Oh, it was a uh, holla, holly, holler. Sorry, I can't remember. Oh, Goofy, come on, dude. Stop goofing around. That's that, Goofy, that, sure that's, that's a that's a good one, Donald. Stop. Get. It's pretty basic, but respect to you. Respect to you for making that. Make it up. Oh, I don't think so. Uh, God of Shades, what's going on, man? Thanks so much once again for the continual support. First uh, heart transplant was done in, like, 1967. Oh, wow. Oh, this... So this is a thing that's been around for... Actually, no, I think what I was thinking of was a brain transplant. But then again, I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't know what I was reading at the time. Uh, that would be very interesting, though, a brain transplant. I don't know how that would work, because all of your conscious... Everything that makes you is is within your brain. You know, emotions, everything. Um, I've had mine since 2006. You've actually... You're a soldier, man. You're a soldier, dude. 
I went to Disney for my wish because I've been obsessed with Kingdom Hearts since my toddler days in the hospital. You are a true soldier, man. That is amazing. Like, that is actually amazing. Thanks so much for the one bangerino god as well. As your kind words today, man. But however, guys, that is going to conclude episode one of Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memory. So like I said, guys, this series is going to be working the exact same way as the uh, previous series. So we're going to be doing one world per screen. Usually that should kind of take us up to like an hour to an hour and a half kind of thing. But it all comes back to like how difficult our kind of time throughout that world is. Is. Um, usually we'll also do the bosses after the world as well so a lot of the time throughout Chain of Memories once you finish a world and you make your way into the exit hall of that world usually there's gonna be like a boss fight whether it's like Lexius, Luxine, uh, the Replica Riku, Data Riku and stuff so we'll also be doing those as well. Um, but guys that is going to conclude episode 1. Thank you dude so much for coming down to today's episode. Uh, this marks the very beginning of Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories, and yes, for the people who are wondering, we are also going to be doing a Rebirth slash Rebirth mode as well. So, tomorrow we're going to be straight back into it, we'll probably be going into, like, Wonderland or something like that. But, uh, with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for your support, the donations, subs, as well as resubs. The support goes an extremely long way, so thank you guys so much, I do appreciate that. However, guys, have a... Fantastic rest of your day. I've been cynical, and until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.